Hi everybody, this is Todd Smith, CEO of Blue Horizon Venture Consulting, and we're going to take a quick look today at the uh, financial model template. And basically what we have is, um, it's a pretty complicated financial model, but really when you boil it down to its essence, it's not all that complicated. So don't be intimidated. Um, basically what we have is a, a control center. This is where you, you enter the company name, the start date of your business plan, and it should be the beginning of a quarter and um, well, by the way when you do open this file you want to enable the macros because there's several macros that run in the background uh, especially this print macro that enables you to print out a very nice uh, formatted printed uh, version of your model so in essence um, the summary this is just a kind of a summary overview of uh, your financials uh, with some cool graphics um, the assumptions. This page is your absolutely your the key of your entire model, and here is where you're going to build in your assumptions uh, in terms of the number of sales that you expect over the five-year horizon and the prices that you're going to charge for each individual product. So you have to determine what those are going to be up front, and then you get into your cost of goods sold, uh, various items that impact your cost directly and then you have employee related costs capital purchases which is any kind of hardware one-time expenses marketing expenses that you expect basic corporate operating expenses which is these are just kind of boilerplate common expenses such as rent um, services um, and, and just general uh, basic costs and you have some other assumptions relating to your finances and that's it I mean that's the driver of your financial model this this one page here um, but the next page is where you get into some complexity and this is the details page and this goes month by month quarter by quarter and year by year for uh, all five years and what you're gonna have to do is once you build your assumptions you have to manually come in here and drive the uh, revenue model. Now, you have a simplistic model. Uh, we've already built in the formulas. Um, as you can see, a little bit complicated, but not that difficult. And if it's a basic price times volume deal, uh, very easy to manage. And uh, once you have that, all of your revenue numbers are driven through the, throughout the entire model. Um, you, you can see, let me go back up here you have your income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, and then two different kinds of cash flow statements below that, staffing plan, professional services plan, uh, and so forth. Now that's all the detail, and again, it's, it's pretty complicated, but once you have your basic um, revenues and expenses built into this, it, it'll cascade down. And funding analysis, it tells you how much capital you're going to need based on your assumptions and your details. So in this case, there's a huge negative cash flow. So that tells us right here that we're going to need a couple hundred thousand dollars to get this particular business started. So what you can do is you build into your model here either debt or equity financing. And... Actually, we had a couple hundred thousand already. So let's say we need five hundred thousand dollars equity financing. Well, we can see that our minimum cash is one hundred and eighty-four. So we probably don't need that much. We can go back in and say, hey, we only need three hundred and fifty. Give ourselves a little cushion. And you can see again that our minimum cash goes down to twenty-four thousand. That's probably doable. You might want to add a little bit more of a cushion. But you can see how much cash you have over the five-year forecast, and uh, therefore you know if you've raised enough capital or how much you're going to need to raise in order to, to hit all your targets. Cover sheet, this is where you put in your logo and some basic information. Now, uh, table of contents, this goes into that printed format that we talked about. Labels, this is an important sheet. Basically, what you put in here will cascade throughout the entire document. So you put your name and address, and that's going to show up on your cover sheet. Um, you put in the product names and the cost, the cost of goods sold names, and that's going to cascade throughout the entire document. Uh, graphics, again, these are, are uh, some graphics that you can show in your business plan. 
And then finally, evaluation. This basically tells you what your business is worth in a very high level way. And this is not to be confused with a, a very detailed discounted cash flow valuation, but it's kind of a thumbnail valuation. And based on all the numbers that run through your plan, it's telling you what your business is worth in today's dollars. So this is a very important number that you're going to need to negotiate with any potential investors. So that's it in a nutshell. I know this is uh, about five and a half minutes. I just wanted to run through what all was involved with your financial model. Again, it's all driven by these assumptions. Once you have those in, um, then, you, then you're in good shape. And uh, it just takes a little bit of thinking. Uh, it takes a little bit of manual manipulation. Uh, this is certainly where I can step in and help you uh, round out your financial model. But um, that's it. So uh, we'll talk about the, in the next video, we're going to talk about the business plan outline, and uh, then we'll go from there. So we'll see you soon.